Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. As we've mentioned in our previous video, Pixelmator 3.3 Mosaic is out. It contains a huge improvement for raw editing due to its re-engineered tone, clarity, and texture sliders, which now look especially natural and true to life. I said in that video, my impression is the quality of the adjustments has reached that of Lightroom, which many consider the gold standard in raw editing. But I did say as well that we needed a comparison test to verify this. So that test is finally here. In this video, we'll be comparing the quality of Pixelmator Pro 3.3 Mosaic with Adobe Lightroom's adjustment using a few of my test photos so that we can finally come to a conclusion on whether Pixelmator Pro's updated raw processing is comparable to Lightroom's. To make the comparisons fair, we're going to make each editor edit the same set of images in the same way using the same set of adjustment sliders. These adjustment sliders include shadows and highlights, clarity and texture, haze, and that's it. Only raw images will be used and no other adjustments will be applied. Specifically, we won't include any color adjustments like HSL adjustments or saturation. We won't do any sharpening nor do any noise removal. This allows us to understand the quality of the color output of the raw editor's tone adjustments out of the box. We will perform two types of adjustments. In global adjustments, we want to compare the quality of adjustments to the whole image. We're also going to do some local adjustments. And here we will observe the performance of the masking and the quality of the adjustments on specific parts of an image. So that gives a glimpse of how we edited each image. I hope everybody is satisfied. We tried to make the adjustment process similar for both editors using equivalent tools. With that out of the way, let's now look at the slideshow comparison. So I hope you enjoyed that slideshow comparison. So what are my takeaways here? Let's look at the strengths of Pixelmator 3.3. The first strength is the comparable image quality across the board. It's hard to choose between Pixelmator Pro's image and Adobe Lightroom. They both give excellent results. Second, the dynamic range is comparable to Lightroom, meaning it can recover detail in the brightest shadows and darkest highlights with no issue. Pixelmator Pro's colors is very similar to Lightroom in that it produces true-to-life color in all of its adjustments, even when brightening very dark shadows and darkening very bright highlights. Pixelmator Pro's color never looked unnatural or artificial. Fourth is pleasing clarity and texture adjustment. Pixelmator Pro's clarity and texture adjustments look good with no visible artifacts or unsightly halos. Once again, very similar to Lightroom's output. 
Now let's talk about some disadvantages of Pixelmator 3.3 when compared to Lightroom. As previously mentioned, Pixelmator's adjustments don't target shadows and highlights as well as Lightroom because they affect too many tones, in my opinion. For whatever reason, Adobe Lightroom's adjustments produce clearer details than Pixelmator. This might not be obvious in a small screen, but on my 32-inch monitor, I could see clearer details with Lightroom. Third disadvantage is the masking. Pixelmator Pro's quick selection brush is not bad by any stretch. I found the experience more difficult to control when creating precise masks because of the oversensitive way it selects edges, similar to a flood select tool. As a tip, make sure to use a small brush for more precision. There's also no feathering in the quick selection brush tool, which may cause harsher transitions between selected and unselected and require more work to get your selections just right. Compare Lightroom's masking brush, which selects only within the area of the circle and has feathering for smoother transitions. So I find that Lightroom's masking brush is superior to Pixelmator Pro's and I'm not even including their amazing AI-based masking system. Pixelmator should develop a similar masking brush or better yet, just copy Lightroom's AI-based object selection for the most effortless masking experience. Well, that's it for the comparison. To summarize, this test confirms that Pixelmator for the most part has caught up with Lightroom in the overall quality of its raw processing. I'm sure a lot more people will be using Pixelmator Pro for raw editing tasks. So I hope you found this video helpful. I'd love to know what you think of the raw editing performance of Pixelmator. Will you be using it? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.